Hello and welcome to day 156 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. All right, we're in the 1660 range uh, after a loss in our last game. Uh, so let's see if we can improve here. All right, we have d4. I'm going to go with d5, see if they do a queen's gambit. So queen's gambit declined here. Um, all right. I have to figure out what I want to do here. Um, I'm going to try something a little different. going to knock out um, this knight here. Okay, now we can go here, get ready to castle. So let's see, let's see here. Go ahead and castle. I don't know. I may have misplayed this. I saw this in a, a video. Okay, we'll just attack him, force him to do something there. All right. Now. Um guess we can develop our knight here and that'll protect okay we have to do something about our bishop um, hmm What if we attack here? Let's try that. Okay. Well, we have to do that. Then, well, we could go and capture. You know, or do we just move here and attack? I'm going to say we capture. Now we could jump forward here and attack the unprotected bishop, perhaps. Now, the normal move here would be to capture towards the center, but then we'll be able to check him over here the only thing is I'm going to be left with an isolated pawn which is not so great you know, especially as the pieces are traded down Hmm. And if he captures with the other pawn, we could go here, checking with a rook. All right, so we're going to check there. Um, so he blocks. Now, we could go after his bishop, which is unprotected. If we do that, hmm, then what do we do? Hmm. 
All right. I'm going to go after his unprotected bishop. And now what? Okay, he drops back. Is there a way to keep attacking here? Um, bring this knight up. So we'll do that. All right. So now, hmm. What next? What? Next. I don't know if that really got us much there. Because now that is under attack. I mean, I guess the rook could go here and protect it. All right, we didn't really get much out of that opening, I guess. Okay, so now we're under attack. We could drop back attacking the unprotected pawn, I guess. So that might work, but then his knight will be able to jump forward here. Hmm. Or do we just take the pawn? Oh, we might as well just grab the pawn up. Okay. We'll go ahead and just grab the pawn then. Hmm. Now we have two past pawns so that's good for the end game but he has this past pawn in the center at least our knight is here you know, able to help block that what threats does he have he could jump his knight over here attacking uh, or forward would be even better Okay, so now, what do we do? Do we drop back here, keeping an eye on that knight? Ooh, maybe we need to drop back here because um, his knight could go here forking. So, hmm. Okay, so maybe we just drop to here, which I think I'm going to do. Just going to go there, keeping an eye on that knight and this square here, because uh, we don't want him to jump in there and fork. Now he could, well, he can't move his rook because of this but he could move his bishop up here and renew this threat okay well do i capture here do i do that allowing his queen to come up in here and cause another threat hmm 
Hmm. Or can I ignore that for the moment? All right. Well, I might as well attack his knight. Ah, but if I go this way, then he can jump in there. Hmm. All right, so we're in a little bit of trouble here. I could push the pawn and attack. Maybe that would be good. So I think I'll do that. I'll just push the pawn and attack his knight. So let's go there. Attacking his knight. Hmm. All right, so now I'm going to be kind of forced to capture there. Hmm. Do I have anything better? Okay, well, I could capture which looks like I'm forced to do. And then I'm going to have to go over here with my queen to cover this, probably. Oh, and he's going to have a threat here as well. Oh, man. Okay, well, I think we have to attack his bishop now. And then we have to jump our knight up here to cover the pawn. Hmm. Okay. All right, I guess we're doing that. We're doing that. If he captures, I capture, his knight captures. Okay. Huh, well now we can just, oh no, he's protected there. All right. If we go there, his queen could come in. Okay. Well, do we drop back and attack his bishop again? I think so. We just go there and attack. Uh, at least we're keeping some kind of pressure on his position, but man, this is kind of crazy. Okay, well, what is that move? All right, well, now, what do we do? What do we do? Hmm. Okay, let me sit and think here for a minute. If we capture, he's going to have this threat of the queen attacking here and here. So, if we go here with the bishop, he could capture, we capture, our rook captures. Then the queen comes down and attacks. Uh, 
Ah, this is going to be bad. Okay. So, do we jump back up here? Oh, man. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay. Do we jump back up here with the knight? If he captures, we capture. He captures. The queen comes up here. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. This is looking pretty crazy. Um. We bring our knight up, and he captures, and we capture. The knight captures, our rook captures, but then the queen comes down here. We would have to go here with our queen to cover this pawn and our rook. Or if he goes after this pawn, we could come up here and attack his queen, maybe. Um, he could block with the knight. Then we could use our rook. Ah. <sighs> Pretty crazy here. All right, why is my opponent disconnected now? Now he is disconnected, which is not so good. All right, what is this? It says he's disconnected. Will auto resign in 50 something seconds. I doubt he'll do that. Um, all right, if he captures with the knight, then I capture. If he ca okay, so he goes that way. Um, do we attack the queen? Maybe, maybe we attack the queen. Then what might he do here? All right, let's attack the queen. Then we can go after the pawn. Okay. Oh man, I guess that didn't work out. Because now he gets two pieces. Really? <sighs> Maybe he pulled that out of uh, with a computer when he was disconnected. 
I don't know. I can't blame everything on a computer, but... All right, do we go after his queen, but then he snatches our queen up and he's just ahead by a piece here. <sighs> these, these ridiculous tactics. It's like all it takes is one tactical miscalculation and then the game is kind of done. So, you know, I should go here, I guess. But now he's going to keep this pawn. Uh, well, he'll capture here, and then, then what do I do? I have these past pawns. That's like the only thing helping me. If I go after this, All right, let me take a look at this. I'm pretty much forced to go after this rook, I assume. So, might as well go grab it. And then I can start trying to push these pawns forward. Start trying to, oh, and it's looking bad. You know, he could put this bishop here and grab this, these uh, weak, dark squares around my king. Ugh. Yeah, I think I need to start really pushing these pawns forward. All right. Well, my only chance is to start moving these pawns up the board. Hmm. All right, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. Move the pawns. problem is he can start pushing these pawns forward. All right, do I give up my rook here? Capture, capture, I grab this. Continue moving my pawns forward, maybe. So maybe I do that. Hmm. Uh, if I do that, he can go here, I capture, then I go here, then, uh, yeah, then that's not looking too good. Hmm. Well, I should probably get behind the past pawns. Oh, man. All right, so if I capture here, he captures, my queen captures. Now the problem is he goes here, forcing me to capture his queen captures. Then he can get behind these past pawns. So I don't want to trade off more. If I move, where's best to move to? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking good at all. Okay, if he tries to get down here. Uh, this is just not, not good at all. Okay, once again, if I capture, he captures, I capture, his rook comes down, forcing me to capture, his queen comes down with check, my king moves up, um, then what? It's going to be hard to defend these, so I have to move my queen. Where best to move this queen to? Maybe here. Mm. Or here, maybe to help guard things. All right, start moving these pawns. Start moving these pawns. Okay, now what? Kind of have to go that way. Start moving the pawns. Okay. Guess I gotta go that way. I don't know, I've been debating lately whether or not to try and um, do one of these games every day. You know, do a video every day of this. Uh, you can leave comments if you want, if you think I should do a game every day. Um, you know, and then maybe throw the other videos in there. Okay, well... Where is this knight going? Maybe move the bishop out of the way and then jump in here and add more pressure? All right, let's just keep moving these pawns forward. You know, or should I have captured? Maybe I should have captured this rook but I'm not really looking to trade off more pieces. Now I'm kind of forced. 
kind of forced to capture here. Okay. Well, let's start moving these pawns forward. All right, now what? Uh, now he could capture with the knight. If I capture, he captures here, threatening a mate. I could block that, though. Okay. Well. Now what do we do? We just go there. Probably should have attacked his knight, maybe. Or move my queen up. Uh, because now he could have a threat of coming here, attacking this, and attacking from this side. Because my king is, I don't know, really stuck here. What? They resigned? Why did they resign there? Okay, oh my gosh. It, see, it says that I'm winning here. All right, well, I definitely need to look at this. I thought I was losing. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's do the game review, but what? Well, how, this thing is in the way here. Uh, okay. Uh, definitely look at the We'll look at the game review and then do the computer analysis. But it's saying knight to f5 is their best move. Okay, why is it saying I'm losing here? I mean, I guess the threat is to bring this pawn up. Oh my gosh, okay, we definitely have to take a look at this. We'll throw the game review up. All good right, job looks like a lead and they, not letting up. It says, good job building a lead and not letting up. Man, I don't know, I thought I was losing in that position. So, here we have 78% accuracy for my opponent. I did 77.9. They had one brilliant move. Uh, so we'll have to see what that was. And then I had two great moves. They played at an 1800 level and I played at a 1750 level. Yeah, I just didn't feel like I was playing that great. I tried something different in the opening and I don't know, maybe it wasn't so good. Um, so we'll definitely have to take a look at that. Inaccuracies. They had three and I had three. They had two mistakes, but I had five mistakes. Man, I, they had three missed opportunities and I had one. All right, so in the opening, they played with 99% accuracy. I played with 99.5% accuracy. Uh, middle game, 70.7 .7 for them and 70.5. So it was pretty even. Man, a lot going on here. They were just in the lead. Uh, okay, that was a crazy game. So let's do the quick Opening review the and then I'll do computer the analysis. Usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. Okay, I don't really want this guy talking. So here we go. Um, so it was a queen's gambit decline, but I'm not sure what variation it went into because I don't normally give up the bishop pair like that, but I I saw some video on YouTube and I thought, oh, maybe I'll try this different type of opening in the Queen's Gambit. Um, but I don't think I played it very good. <laughs> okay, um, what do we have here? 
So this was a mistake. Apparently I should have just brought my queen out. Yeah, so you know, something you don't want to do in the opening is move a piece twice, and that's what I did. I should not have captured there. I should have just brought my queen out, threatening to take this pawn. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I didn't do that. That definitely would have been um, a better move there to bring that queen up. Okay, so that was a, a mistake. Um, anyway, moving on here. All right, so I got a pawn there. So we have six pawns versus five, but you know, I only have a quarter of a pawn's worth of a lead there. Okay, so that was not the best move. That did open my king up. So it looks like I should have just, oh, moved here. Well, then he would have been able to take that pawn. But I guess I am a pawn in the lead. Uh, anyway. Okay, so they should have captured this pawn. Um, oh, and they don't like that. Apparently, I should have just started pushing my past pawn. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have to look at the computer analysis because there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Mm. So that was a mistake. Uh, I should have just grab the pawn man what we'll to take a look at that uh, th yeah there was just a lot going on in this here's their brilliant move so yeah that does give them two pieces for a rook because now i have to capture they capture they got a bishop and a knight for a rook and they keep this pawn but you know, we are even in pawns. I kind of forgot I was ahead of pawn. Ugh, and now all this attacking against me. Uh, it's a wonder I was even able to hold it together. So they should have captured here instead of moving their knight. Yeah, they're... Um, well, let's see. Apparently, yeah, I should have captured immediately. And then they should have captured. So finally I capture. Um, they capture. And it looks like I should have pushed the other pawn. So they made a mistake there. Uh, allowing me to push this pawn. And is this where they resigned? No, we went a little bit further. Um, apparently I should have ignored that and gone after the bishop. Hmm. And man, they have this pawn majority here. I thought they were going to... Well, it would be hard to stop these. Hmm. You know, I thought he would block with the queen. If I attacked... Then what? Or if he goes here, but then the other pawn could push forward maybe? I, I don't know. I thought my opponent had more threats here, especially... Uh, I, I don't know. Definitely, I have to pull out some computer analysis. So let's go do that. And here it says I'm ahead by the equivalent of three. Uh, three pawns worth of material. Even though they are ahead by, what, plus one. Alright, well, let's look at the analysis from the beginning. Okay, we have d4, d5. Now the queen's gambit here. Okay, so... You know, normal queen's gambit move, they attack your 
central pawn with a flank pawn. Uh, you just guard it with your central pawn. That way if they capture, you capture. They have the half open C file and you would have a half open E file to try and work with. Uh, they just develop the knight behind the C pawn that they pushed forward and they put more pressure on the D5 pawn. You know, common moves in the queen's gambit declined here. Okay. Apparently, this is a common book move. All right. Now, they attack another book move. And capturing, so book move, but after they recapture, white is ahead with a slight edge here. And, okay, another book move, knight to f6. Um, they develop their knight, so we're, and apparently this is called the Ragozin defense. So, castling, the best move in the position. So they pin, actually they like e3 better because then if I capture, their bishop could capture here on c4. Um, here we force them to make a decision. They want to keep their bishop pair, which is smart. Um, although the computer says it's better to capture here. If they capture, uh, my queen would have to recapture. Hmm. All right, so we develop the other knight to back our first knight up. They push forward here, guarding their c4 pawn with the bishop. And c5, the best move in the position. So I'm going to have to probably play this more often. You know, I, seems like in the queen's gambit, I'm kind of hesitant to play the c5 move, especially if it's unprotected. Uh, but even if it wasn't protected and they captured, they would have tripled isolated pawns, which is not so good. Um, so they capture towards the center. Um, I capture and now the bishop is developed. And here, I wasn't sure what to do, but apparently queen to a5 is best. Even c4 is possible. To chase the bishop back uh, but I make a mistake here capturing yeah this was not so good I thought that they might even capture with the knight leaving me with this isolated pawn that their queen could target but then they would have two isolated pawns over here so what should I have done apparently queen to a5 targeting this unprotected pawn then we have queen to c2, um, rook to e8, lining up on the king. Uh, but, you know, they have time to castle here. And then what, c4, then we chase the bishop, gain some space. Um, and they recommend bishop to f5 uh, because now they could capture uh, but if they capture I could retreat back with my other knight because if I capture with the bishop they could wreck my pawns around my king creating weaknesses um, but the recommendation is oh knight to e4 huh yeah that's a good move just adding pressure to this. And then they recommend capture. And then, oh man, I would think the rook capture, but then the knight could retreat chasing the rook. Here you chase the knight, knight to d2, piling up on these pawns. Um, hmm. Apparently, they would want us to protect this pawn. They could capture. Oh, no, they can't capture. If they capture with the knight, my queen could sweep over here, pinning the knight to the unprotected queen. Hmm. 
Anyway, uh, let's get back to what happened in the game. So I capture, which was not so good. You know, now they capture towards the center, getting rid of their backward pawn. Uh, finally, I moved the queen up here, but it's not as strong now. I mean, I'm checking, but uh, they just block. And apparently queen to d2 would have been better, but they wanted to keep the queens on the board, I guess. Um, but it would have been better you know, maybe to trade queens off. So if they go here, yeah, it looks like it best would be capture. Um, and if they still wanted to castle, the knight capturing is best. Uh, but I'm left with this isolated pawn in the end game, and that's probably why it gives white the edge here, gives white an advantage. Um, then rook to e8 would be next, piling up here while well, aiming at the king. Um, a4, maybe start moving this pawn, try and get a, some type of minority attack with one pawn versus two, maybe. All right, um, in the game. They block. I go here. Best move, apparently, attacking the unprotected bishop. Uh, the bishop drops back, but apparently bishop to e2 would be better. So now, I play this, which is not best. Because they capture... So I capture with the pawn, um, but then after castling, which is best, I try to protect the pawn. Um, I thought about bringing this pawn up at some point, but now an attack on the queen. But this gives black the edge here. Apparently the rook would have been better staying where it was at and pushing the a pawn to gain some space over here. Um, and this just gives me a pawn. So now I'm up one pawn. Uh, but the knight is able to jump forward attacking my queen. And this was the best move, queen to a6. Uh, because I wanted to prevent... Well, oh yeah, I have to prevent the knight from jumping here, you know, forking the pawn and my rook. If my rook would try and stay up here, you know, go up here to protect the pawn. Um, oh, well, I guess that wouldn't do too much. They could just capture here. Huh. Maybe I was looking at ghosts there. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I think I over... Um, I give a threat more than what is actually going on. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's see what actually happened. Um, attack on the queen. I jump down here to keep the knight from moving forward. Um, the pawn is attacking my pawn, so apparently b5 attacking the knight is best, so I found that. Knight to d2 is best, and that is not best. So here I just gave up my advantage. Apparently queen to g6 would be the best move in this position. Hmm. Why would that be any good? I mean, it lines up on the queen. Queen to e6. Um, knight to b6. Well, it looks like I should just go here, lining up on the king. You know, maybe in the future, once this knight moves, my bishop could go up here um, targeting the pawn and, you know, the rook here. So, knight captures would be best. That way you don't double up pawns. So, knight captures. 
<clears throat> apparently this move well now they're saying a5 is even better just immediately get those pawns moving all right so if we do that they recommend g3 to prevent any future threats with the queen and the bishop against the king side um, knight jumping here maybe jumping onto this outpost on c4 um, knight to d6 now all right forking rook and bishop the recommendation is oh this gives up a pawn huh okay anyway yeah i guess this would have been better than what i played but now they're saying the game is even after this okay back to what happened i played g5 a mistake uh they retreat which is best of course retreating here um so this is an inaccuracy queen to a4 apparently they like that better man queen to a4 doesn't seem so great either though so if i go queen to a4 oh wait a4 not a5 delete that queen to a4 what this would allow the pawns to be doubled that would just wreck my past pawns then they'd just be doubled that doesn't seem so great all right yeah i don't know if i like that okay so in the game we have this knight jumping forward uh trying to protect here f takes e4 should have been played apparently yeah and that's what i thought was going to happen so if they captured uh then what me capturing apparently is not good yeah because they could bring the queen here targeting the knight no well yeah i guess that works uh, we'll take a look at that so here they recommend oh once again the bishop to g4 move uh or rook to f8 protecting here but bishop to g4 kind of like what happened in the game and then they recommend the capture but then white is just ahead here um so after this move what happens if i capture there well then that would be uh, well it says it's an excellent move but after knight captures rook captures then oh rook can take on f7 if the queen goes here immediately well we'll look at that as well but they recommend rook captures uh and then oh man queen to g6 oh yeah this would have that would this would have been awful because then the other rook comes down you have two rooks on the seventh rank and that looks just terrible um you know i was looking at something like this then what Oh, I guess I could play f5 to protect that. Huh, and that would be a mistake. All right, so in the game, we were in this position. So b4, just running the past pawn, is the best move. Um, I make a mistake here, but b4 would have been best. But then after knight takes, knight takes pawn captures and then oh they would recommend this rook takes takes and oh wow yeah i did not see anything like this in the game 
Um, <laughs> all these terrible tripled isolated pawns. Uh, I have a bishop for a rook, um, but I have these two passed pawns over here and the bishop to help them run forward. They recommend queen to h5. Um, then I should ignore this. What? Play rook to c8? No way. Huh. Okay. They should capture... Okay, wait. Now it's saying that's bad. That queen to a5 would be better. Queen to a5. Um, oh, that's wrong. That's not a5. Queen to a5 is here. Targeting this pawn. Um, queen could capture here, but rook to f6 is even better. Yeah, this doesn't look so good here. Okay, back to the game. We had knight to d7. Uh, the bishop retreats here, and this is a miss. Apparently, knight takes e4 uh, immediately would have been better. So if the knight captures, then what? Uh, we should play bishop to b7, targeting the knight and aiming at the king side. Uh, but then... Rook grabs the seventh, attacking the knight. Um, we should go ahead. Huh. Capture the knight to avoid a check, forking our king and our rook, especially if this knight falls. They recommend capture. Um, then the bishop could drop back and help defend here. Then, what, f4 by white? Trying to break things open. Um, now they're saying h4 would have been even better. And then we should move in here and attack the rook. All right, so back to the game. We had knight to d7. The bishop drops down here, um, I guess, to avoid being captured by the knight. Um, so... I move back up here in inaccuracy. You know, why did I do that? Uh, I guess to help defend here, but better would have been to activate the other piece, to activate the bishop, which is not doing anything there. So that would have been better. Um, and then they recommend ignoring this pawn, pushing to f4, uh, or I could capture there. See what. Let's see what the computer says now. F4 is best. So, what? Queen to A3, threatening capture of the pawn with check. Queen to E1, guarding the knight and the pawn at the same time. Uh, and now G4. Huh. I don't know if I would like that. Okay. Back to the game. Knight to f6 was played. Finally, they captured the pawn. Um, knight takes e4 is the recommended move. So that was a mistake right there. Instead, they want knight captures, but white would be in the lead here. Um, bishop to e5. Grabbing this diagonal on these weak squares around my king. Um, capturing the knight might be best. Queen captures. And then... Oh, they actually want us to take here. Take and bishop to e6, which helps guard a little bit here. But man, that rook can jump in there. I don't know. This doesn't look too great. Um, they recommend h4, trying to break things open. Ugh. All right, in the game, I play this, attacking the queen. They find the brilliant move here, taking the rook and attacking my queen at the same time. So the best thing to do is take the rook. 
uh, but now white gets a knight and a bishop for a rook and generally you don't want to do that give up two pieces a knight and a bishop or two bishops two knights whatever for one rook um, all right so next we have a5 and apparently queen to e7 uh, would have been better queen to e7 why is that better oh it attacks the bishop so I should have just gone after the bit well the bishops protected maybe there's a threat of moving up here targeting the unprotected rook uh, and helping these pawns march forward hmm All right, well, yeah, either way, white would be ahead quite a bit there. So in the game, after their brilliant move and our exchange, uh, I start trying to get those pawns moving. Uh, this is an inaccuracy. E5 would have been better, uh, which was kind of what I was waiting for, for these pawns to just start marching up the board right through the center. And I thought, man, I'm going to be in trouble. I thought I was already losing and I was just trying to hang on, which I guess it paid off. They recommend queen to g6, uh, but then you have d5. Yeah, and this is just looking awful. Um, f5 attacking the queen. Uh, they could just capture en passant here, but they recommend queen to d4, centralizing the queen and helping push these pawns forward, uh, which could have been very dangerous. So in the game, uh, we had you know, the bishop centralizing, attacking my queen. I moved here to help protect things. Apparently getting behind the passed pawn would have been better in lining up on the king. Um, we have an attack. Uh, well, the rook kind of grabs the open file, keeping an eye on this F pawn, which is guarded at the moment. Uh, so, the pawns are pushing, but A4 would have been better. So, A4, uh, yeah, I guess that really keeps the knight from being able to move forward. Um, queen to G3 would have been a better move, uh, or a good move for white in this position. Uh, but in the game, I pushed the wrong pawn, allowing uh, the rook to attack my queen. I try to stay over here to help guard things. Uh, and he piles the pressure up here. So uh, what do I do about that? I try and knock out one of his attackers. Uh, the knight is launching forward, but this is a mistake. So instead, rook captures would have been better oh man yeah, and they're almost winning here after this uh, because now h4 uh, what do i do i capture um, but now knight to c4 mm. king to f8 is recommended wow yeah, it looks like I would have been losing after this. In this position, I would just be losing. King to f8 is what they recommend. And then, or h3. Hmm. Uh, d5. They just start pushing these pawns. Yeah, this just looks horrible. Okay, in the game, we had knight to c4. Uh, and I missed an opportunity. Now I should have captured on f6. So if I captured, the bishop captures. And here it's saying that uh, black even has a slight edge if they play rook to c8. Huh. What? I wouldn't have found that move because I would think I would need to protect my pawns. Um, but rook to c8. Let's see if they actually like that after I play it. Apparently, I would think, oh, they could try and capture one of my past pawns. 
but they actually recommend knight to d2. Huh. I guess it activates my rook. So, yeah, if they played that, then you have queen takes e4. Okay, well, what if they just played that, threatening a mate in one? Well, now I can capture with check. Oh, and the king is really in trouble here uh, because this rook is going to come up here and help deliver a mate first. Yeah, okay. Well, in the game, we had knight to c4. I start pushing my pawns. Their knight jumps forward, but once again, they should have captured my rook on e6. Um, so finally, I capture. Now they're saying that's a great move. Um, they capture on f6. And a3, apparently b3 would have been a better move. So b3... Um, the knight would have to jump up here to try and stop these pawns from moving. Uh, but uh, I could play a3. I have multiple moves here. Uh, so you know, instead of looking at all those, let's see what uh, actually happened at the end of the game. So I push. Um, they play d5, but the best thing would have been, what, knight to f5, blocking the scope of my queen. Um, a2, threatening here to promote. Then d5, so the bishop can keep an eye on everything. And then it looks like I should just push, um, you know, promote, and then they'd have to give up their rook, or excuse me, their bishop. My rook would capture with check king up to f2 and then uh, let's see rook to a2 king to g3 but then I see this other pawn now they're saying king to e1 would have been better king to e1 um, but this pawn is going to threaten so capture with check um King to f8, queen takes g5, and then queen takes e4, queen to g8. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is just crazy. King to e7, capture with check. King to d8 is the best move. Check. Uh, queen would block. And now queen to f4. Trying to. St oh, wait. That's wrong. That's f5. Queen to f4. Protecting. Preventing a check after I capture that pawn. So queen to c5. Threatening a mate. Um, knight to f7 check, king to d7, knight to e5, oh my gosh, yeah, this would have just been chaos. Then going here, they would have, could have just chased me all over the place, but then I have these past pawns threatening. All right, what happened in the game? We had d5, uh, I push forward here, and then... The queen jumps up here to help stop things. Uh, and I played the, well, tied for one of the best moves, b2. Queen to g6 is possible as well. Uh, and now it's saying queen to g6 would have been better. So let's take a look at why. Queen to g6 is best because after bishop to d4, would they just give up a knight? Huh. I mean, you'd think they would have to protect here, protect the knight. 
with something like this. Oh, I could just, well, play that and attack the bishop. Um, what are they recommending now? That I play b2. I just keep pushing forward here. Hmm. I do that. Bishop or queen, sorry, to b3 protects everything. But then I can just push this pawn forward. So a2. Um, you know, and then I could, well, if they capture with the bishop, well, that's what they recommend. Bishop capture. Uh, then we go there, promote. You know, if they give that up, then we capture with check. We're picking off the knight as well. Yeah, and then they're, they would be in trouble. So the final position in the game was this, and they resigned. So what would their best move be? Apparently, knight to f5, and then in this position... <coughs> huh man see they could have kept playing I don't know if I would have been able to find this the only move that get, keeps the lead for me is if I go rook to b8 here that's why sometimes I think people like this person could have been using a computer or something and seeing that he was losing like this but if I only have one move, rook to b8 to keep me in the lead, I don't know if I would have found that. They probably should have kept on playing. Um, now, you know, what do you do? You block here. But then the other pawn can push forward, and then you can threaten to move here. So, I don't know. It says that's the best move, to block like that. But then I push this. Uh, they would have to capture to prevent losing their queen. But then we go here, and they're forced to give up their queen, you know. Well, not forced to, but if they don't, I have two queens. So, yeah, the best thing to do is to take that. Then I take, and then I would just be winning. So, all right, back to the game. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would have found that. What should I do if I push this pawn... The bishop can capture. So, you know, maybe I would have gone after the bishop here. That might have been more likely. Oh, but if I play queen to g6, the knight can come up here forking. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would be pretty crazy too. So, yeah, if I played something like that, uh, then you have a fork, and then, you know, what do I do? I go here, uh, knight captures, um, and now what? Uh, then I would have to find this rook to c8 move, threatening to go here and pin their queen to the king. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know if I would have seen this Rook to B8 move. Anyway, feel free to leave comments, uh, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and have a super chess day.